Good morning, everybody. Well, it's good morning in Australia. So it's about uh, 9.30 a.m. And today up on the workbench, we have got a Kimco Lite. These are 2022 model, 50cc fuel injected, and they're very slow. All the Kimco customers always bring them in because once they buy them, they find out that they only do 50, 55 kilometers an hour. And they're disappointed in that because it is very slow, particularly on the 60K roads here. So what we're going to do is have a look in the transmission and see if there's any obvious restrictions. We don't believe there will be, but we might be surprised. Because these are a fuel injected four stroke, we are going to probably have to deal with something in the ECU because the engines just, just don't rev. So once we pull that um, the front pulley off, uh, we'll have a look and see what we're up against. Okay guys, this is where we find out. So we're looking for a restrictor or something in here. And yes, there's the evidence. So the variator shaft has actually got a stepped shaft and that disallows the pulleys to come all the way together. So this is the one, oh, it's a bit hot. That's the one we're talking about. So you can see just here, that's the step. And you can also have a look at the variator and uh, these rings of satin, they tell you that the belt only goes out to maybe 85% of the variator. So if we replace this with the de-restricted version, we might get the belt traveling out, which may equate to an extra five to 10 kilometers per hour. So that's what we'll do. So now that we've got the variator apart, uh, we're gonna take one of the rollers and uh, we did measure it and it measured up at uh, 1613, which is standard for the Kimco. And we're also going to weigh. So uh, each of these six rollers weighs 6.36, 6.4 grams. So that's not too bad. For a four stroke, you don't want them too heavy because it will not allow the engine to rev. So we're going to stay with those, but more importantly, what we're going to do is replace the variator shaft, which we have here. So exactly the same dimensions, but you can see it doesn't have the step. So this one's clear all the way through. So pop that in and uh, fit it back up to the scooter. So what we'll do is refit the variator. You'll notice that we've got the black pen mark because we want to monitor how far the belt's going out. And uh, we'll just reassemble everything and get it back on the road for a quick test ride. Okay, back from the test ride, uh, we'll quickly take the, the outer fan off and we'll have a look and see what the pen mark's telling us. Oh, okay, all right, that's, that's a pretty good result. You can see the pen mark, which was here, and now we've almost rubbed all of it off. So that means that the belt is getting to the outermost uh, diameter of the pulley. It's exactly what we want. So I just spoke to the customer who rode the bike previously. It was doing 52 kilometers an hour, and now we're doing 64 kilometers an hour. So that is a great improvement. So we're happy with the improvements. Uh, bike up on the bench just one last time just make sure that you put all the bolts that you took off earlier back in and uh, make sure they're nice and tight just to finish off the job. All right guys, we hope that you liked that video. So we had the Kimco like, it was doing 52 kilometers an hour. Once we changed the shaft, it's now doing up to 65 kilometers an hour. So it's well worth doing. We hope you liked the video. Please subscribe and like the video and we'll see you next time from Scooter Street.